Yeah, obviously, very disappointed. Uh, yeah, what else can I say? I'm very disappointed, but yeah, there are a lot of things I'm doing right, uh, a lot of positives too. So I uh, just have to keep my head down and show some more patience. Can you seem to be fairly good touch and then you get out? It's just when you see Yeah, like I said, I just have to prolong the good things that I'm doing till I get to 35 and 45. and. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been batting well. I've you know looked comfortable and in both the innings, and uh, yeah, my my headspace and everything is very good. So I'm, I'm happy about a lot of things, and uh, yeah, that just if I can keep my patience and you know just um, keep batting the way I do in the first 60, 80 balls. If I continue to do that for 200, 250 balls, then um, it'll obviously benefit me and and the team and. Uh, yeah, that's what I look to do next match. Yeah, after Australia, did you work on any specific things like technical things like after Australia? Did you um, not really, but you know, like after the Australia series, I obviously got some time off. Um, uh, yeah, I guess I just I just batted a lot more, and um, yeah, played played a few India A games and all of that. Just I guess it's it's very overrated. Uh, you know, technique and everything is just overrated sometimes. Sometimes when you get runs, everything looks good. So it was important for me to spend time in the middle. Uh, I never felt like there was anything drastically wrong with my technique in Australia. Which is which is one of those phases that every batsman goes through. And uh, uh, when you when you're in that phase, it's it's challenging to to get out. But a great player will find his way out. So. Um, um, that's why you know going out and playing some practice games and India A games and getting some runs under my belt did well for my confidence and then I could go back and focus on uh, getting runs more than why I was getting out and trying to um, dissect my technique or batting. Um, and you uh, not be a little bit of pressure outside the line, but the ball came inside your uh, line of sight. You, you know, look like a premeditated shot. Yeah. Um, yes and no. Uh, I mean, sometimes when you plan a uh, or play a sweep or a paddle sweep, it is there is a there is a certain percentage of premeditation in it because you know you you I, I played the off spinner for a for a bit like five six overs and I knew the lines that he was bowling he was outside off so um, for me I was thinking boundary and not uh, thinking about uh, getting LBW or anything so I was thinking about runs so since I'd hit him for a boundary before that ball I knew he would um, you know try to bowl a better length which is which is easier for me to paddle but unfortunately I didn't execute the shot really well so uh, yeah but mostly it was not about getting outside off or anything I was thinking about runs. Um, I get that you know once you work at something that's coming uh, with this now you there and um, you said you didn't execute like what aspect of it didn't come through that uh, you wanted to do is it just you missing contact with the ball or something else? Yeah like, like I just said before that a lot of things are seem right when it comes off when it doesn't come off you can sit and dissect a lot of things but uh, yeah if I if I put bat on that uh, ball that probably would have gone for uh, for four and then that would have put a lot more pressure on the bowler uh, two boundaries in two balls he would have you know probably pulled back his length I could have got some more boundaries but yeah, unfortunately that's a battle that he won uh, probably won't happen again or probably will happen again but that's how batting is you try to uh, Minimize your mistakes. Uh, I just want to follow up on an earlier point you made. You said uh, uh, patience. Yesterday, Austin Chase talking about just in these their own batting innings. He said, uh, I guess, discipline. Um, those are two things, I suppose, especially when it comes to test match batting. How do you hope to manage those things going forward? You know, what's happening is happening. How would you manage those two things? When you say that I need to be more patient, yeah. would KL Rahul, given the same situation, Two, three, uh, 
probably I will and probably I will execute it a lot better uh, but again look the, the, I'm I've always been a player that's like to play shots against the spinners and I don't like the spinners to settle down that's what I try to do and that's a role of an opener sometimes to not let the off spinner or a spinner settle down so sometimes I have to take certain risks even if it's test cricket sometimes not letting the bowler settle you might have to take certain risks but yeah as as you play more maybe you'll realize you know there's a better option of unsettling the bowler than uh, a risky shot but again like the paddle sweep and sweep and reverse sweep is something that I I I play a lot even if it's test matches and I've been very successful so far sometimes you do get up get get out you know sometimes you get out cover driving which fetches you a lot of runs so you doesn't mean you stop it but maybe you understand the situation a lot better uh, you know i got out then pujara got out so if we lost a couple more wickets that would have been you know tricky for the team so as you play more maybe you understand when to use your shots more than anything else it's not that you'll never play the shot but when to use it is what comes with experience okay, yeah i mean um, like i just said they put you know two quick wickets fell down and mayank got out early so you know 60 for 3 doesn't doesn't look that good on the scoreboard um so it was important that uh, ajinkya and viraj stitched together a partnership that spell from roach was really good and they were they put some pressure on us so uh, you know they it was you know they stayed patient and um, played that little spell out and then later the runs came on and we know that they're really really good batsmen very skilled so once they said they will um, get a lot of runs and um, that's what they did and r- now at the end of the day the scoreboard looks really good hopefully we can come come out tomorrow and uh, they can continue for a longer time right. uh, on mike's this mistake is key based on the scoreboard and two um, later on obviously they showed that much naked for the na- to the naked eye it looked pretty dead and he knew it too and uh, cuz he you know he judged the length in the line of the ball uh, wrong and he felt he was an unsure too and i felt like it was it hit him on the full but the replay suggested that hit him maybe a foot away but uh, yeah again uh, like i said you can think about it a lot but at that you only get 15 seconds to decide whether to take the drs or no so um, it looked pretty out to me and he was 90% confident that you know it would, would would hit the stump so we didn't want to take that chance and the choice of shot uh, to the that full delivery that was uh, did you think anything at the point not i mean you can you bowlers are allowed to bowl good balls and as batsmen you can put up your hand and say okay you bowl you got me sometime you won that battle he he beat him in 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 length and line and uh, yeah unfortunately for batsmen that's that's all it takes one one mistake or one ball and you you can play well for 100 balls and then nothing matters you you still have to go back to the dressing room and start all over again in the next test match so yeah he's he's just started his test career and he's got a lot of runs in first class cricket so uh, we know that he can get runs he's skilled and he's shown that in in australia when he debuted so um, i'm sure he'll stay hungry and he'll want to come out next time and uh, play his game and uh, get big scores